just to be careful, obviously, with the ball position. Now, with the five and the seven and the nine, ideally speaking, we still would want to have it kind of in a similar kind of spot. Just kind of... Do I have a good line there? just left of your centre, mm. OK? But obviously, if it does get a little bit far forward with those clubs, it wouldn't be as much of an issue because the club is shallower to the ground for longer. It's a longer golf club. If, if I had a golf club out there somewhere, the club would be on the ground back here somewhere and still on the ground over here somewhere. So the ball position wouldn't be as much of an issue, OK? But ideally speaking, you want to constantly... You want to be sort of going back and forth and moving all over the place, OK? So when the ball did get too far forward here, as you can see, this was the one you did about 10 shots ago, OK? So this is before we sort of made the change, OK? And when you swung this one here now, we can see the finished position. Ideally speaking, to get a good strike, ball, then a bit of turf, i.e. not hitting the ground back behind the ball or not thinning it, you would need your centre of your chest to be on top of that golf ball. Now, if the ball starts too far forward, i.e. your chest now is back here a bit too much. You then got to move an awful lot now this way to get that strike. Now the problem is if you swing back, as you can see, there's a bit of movement off that line. Well, now you've got to move even further to get back to it. And when you put speed to it, you're now moving back and away. We catch it a little bit toppy. You're leaning back. Now. You're leaning back. Now what you will do is as you've got better and better the last few months, your bad shot now when you lean back is a pretty good shot is to pull to the left. Okay? You don't tend to hit many thin shots now. There are still obviously some in there, but most of the time you get a reasonable connection. But playing off this back foot again is going to send it way left. Okay? And you can see when you finish this swing. Most of your weight now is fixated back here. Yeah. Now this one here now as we swing again, the ball position as we said. This is a more recent This is one this is one of the one that one three two, I think. It's one of the, the the second or third best when you hit, okay? So same good movement again okay, in terms of your back. So okay, so you turn the golf club out there, that's fine. Now from here definitely not leaning back. No, right. exactly. Yeah. So from here now as you so you see your head moving towards the golf ball, you see there's a movement on top of the ball. So now as you get to strike the golf ball, lovely strike. I would say there. That's the centre of you. Yeah, I can see the difference. Here. Pretty. Okay. There you go. That's good. And just watch the finished position. Yeah. There's a big difference there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the thing we've got to be careful of is when we try and shift our weight, people get sometimes confused with weight, weight shift, okay? It's not kind of a and a lunge this way. All I'm doing now is just basically shifting through my hip. This, this hip kind of goes from here over to there and it's the act of doing that now just brings my torso around brings my centre around with it I'm not going here and going uh, and doing that to try and stop from this okay it's where this is getting, going to be the the, exactly yeah but it's a, it's a shift of weight through better body rotation I can and twisting not just a lean and a lunge because that's what when you did that too much you do that you see you step forward so if you if you start doing this <laughs> <laughs> and hitting the golf ball that way, although it's a bit kind of a Gary Player esque and it worked for him, etc., etc., what could happen is if your body now obviously gets the other extreme, like, and you get too far ahead of it, the shot you just played there, it comes off the heels, aren't we going to get? Okay? So although you're trying to shift and move a little bit of weight, you're doing so basically, if I sort of draw a circle around here, you're basically trying to rotate in that. Okay? So when you swing and rotate here, okay? You're in now, so then you move up and through when you finish. But what we don't want to be doing is sort of sliding and moving a long way this way, or moving your toy. Because again, we want the golf swing to be as have as, min, as, as many as as few variables as possible. If I was going to hammer a nail into into the wall, I'd have a pivot point from here to here, okay? And that would be my sort of most consistent move, just back and forth. Yes, I could get more power if I did this and I came this way, but chances are I'd probably go through the wall somewhere, okay? So you're back and forth there, okay? If I'm adding this into it, or another move this way or that way, or that, oh, exactly. And once you've got more issues and more things that need need recovering, shall we say, if you start to the golf ball and the ball's too far forward, straight away, to make a good shot, you have to do something wrong in the swing to recover that error, etc. So the ball's too far forward, if you make a perfect golf swing, the club will come back and shot the ground where the ball should have been, and then we thin it or pull it or whatever it may be. So if you get the ball's too far forward, you then got to try and do a lunge or something else to recover that club. If the, if the setup better, okay, when we're here now, we can just unwind and make your normal. Well, that, and that's the thing, and that's why I said with the lessons, it, it's basically piecing a jigsaw together. You think from lesson when we started, getting a good posture, get your grip tweaked a little bit, okay, get yourself set to the ball in a consistent way, which you've done for the most part, and you're probably now, I'd say, about 85% there. On occasions, you get lazy with the ball position. That's all, okay? 
that's an always something to keep checking on. Like an MOT with a car. Every six months, okay, you just go and check that, okay? Things might need sort of just topping up the water, might need topping up the oil need changing or whatever it may be. Just getting yourself to check. Like cooking less than two every month. At least. Exactly, just keep that, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Just keep that sort of check over and stuff. Nobody you, just going six months and think, I'm doing something wrong. You can't put it right no. there. And I, and I see people come for lessons and stuff before, they'll, they'll have one every six months. Exactly. I mean, the top players, I mean, their coach is literally in contact with them or with them probably for two to three days a week, I would say. They're playing, obviously, tournaments and stuff four days a week. The coach might fly to that event. Um, a lot to be fair.